Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, Adnan here, Space Boy. In this video, I want to share with you guys the story of how I've decided to pivot from my job as a system administrator to becoming a full-time graphic designer. So I basically graduated nine years ago with a Bachelor of Computer Science. That, that major I picked basically because back then I was really into video games and somehow those two things like video games and computer science felt like they're somehow related. I mean, also a few people suggested the major saying, oh, it has like good potential and things like that and it might suit me. I, I wouldn't say I disliked it. I thought, I thought there were some things that I thought interesting, but I was always more fascinated like by my electives. I took electives in film, literature, a little bit of philosophy, and I was always more drawn into that than my main major. And af after school, I started working in an energy company, as a, which is the job that I have now as system administrator, uh, in a team of about 10 people managing the company's Windows infrastructure in particularly. So it's a very specific job. So the job which I still do pays pretty well, is a little bit more on the laid back side. It gives me a lot of free time that I can, that I started like working on different things like music and music production and DJing and whatnot. I'm super thankful for it because prior to my job, I was not really that interested in, in music. But because of the free time, it felt like I really wanted to like do something. And so those little things that I would spend a few minutes on eventually became my passion. The downside of the job is that it's not really challenging. There's not much of creativity involved. Most of it is basically admin works. There's a lot of office politics. They're a little bit too strict about being present like in the office like what i mean is they don't allow for for remote work the only time they allowed for that was during covid and i was pretty hopeful thinking oh maybe they that they've opened the door for that now maybe like they would allow it even after but once sort of the crisis was over uh it, we went back to strictly office attendance which as an IT job, I think is crazy. Like we do have the capability for, <laughs> for employees to work remotely. We just strictly not allowed. Now for the first few years in my job, I tried to like invest some time in it and like try to progress. Uh, I tried applying for some certifications here and there that are related to what I do. However, um, I wouldn't say like I, I had to definitely push myself to do that. It wasn't the most interesting thing. I was doing them just because I felt like I needed to do them. Once I got few certifications, I just felt that there was very little, little uh, reward for that, like from the job and from how applicable they were to what I was doing. Like I was saying, I was like in my job, I'm doing something super specific. So no, like, Cert unless I'm getting certified in exactly what I'm doing, which I did, there's not there's nothing else pretty much to do. And even once I got the certification, nothing really changed in my job. And I didn't feel like what I've learned I was like I was applying. So that was definitely a little bit demotivating. And after some like some time, I started feeling like maybe maybe I should consider changing things. The company does offer career counseling services, which which was pretty nice. So I signed up for those and I attended a few sessions. And the weird thing is like maybe after the first or second session, I was like, you know what? I would much rather work as a career counselor, even though I had like no, um, I, I was struggling pretty much with my career, but it just felt like, because it's a problem that resonated with me so much, it felt, having that job would be so fulfilling to help people with that specific problem. Uh, there was a there was a course in the company that was open for everybody to apply for that would allow you 
to give career counseling to other employees as a volunteering thing. So I applied for that. I did so many hours uh, to get certified. And I even started giving like career session, career counseling sessions to different friends and people through like that I know over Instagram and whatnot. I actually really enjoyed it. It got to the point where I was like, you know what? Maybe I can consider transitioning or like moving from where I am in IT to to doing this like full time in HR. And I spoke with the people in the organization. The people in the HR team were were very welcoming. They were like, oh, we would love to have you, things like that. But once I spoke with my director, he was completely against it. After that, I was pretty much si like silently quitting. I would just show up at the job, not interested, feeling like, oh, this is not going to go anywhere. And at the time also, I had few things happening in music that were keeping me busy. So I was like, pretty much fuck my job. Let me just focus on this and see where it goes. About two years after that, and which is like around two years ago, I received my evaluation. One of my evaluations, which was the lowest that I've ever received in my, in my job, th through my career. And even though I was pretty much expecting that and I was like prepared, I thought I was prepared for it. Um, it was shocking. And somehow it changed something in me. Like it made me feel like th that situation of me just showing up now caring about the job is, is just not right. Um, so I immediately like almost the day after I started talking to my supervisor, I started asking to be, I asked him to be involved in more projects and things like that. And my attitude toward the job shifted completely from being completely disinterested to wanting to be proactive and helpful. And it didn't change that I was like passionate about it or not. It's not like I immediately like fell in love with the job. No, I still like was a bit disinterested, but I wanted to be part of a team. I wanted to be doing something. I think that's at that point what I really cared about. However, I felt also that I realized something that I didn't realize before, that working in this company is not something for me. Like getting up, at 6.30 or like five every day and driving to work and doing this desk job thing. Just the company culture, the type of job, the type of job that I was doing, I've completely realized is not for me and I need to do something. I was like thinking, what are my options? I could maybe, I was considering maybe getting into a, like applying to different jobs outside the company. Um, but then the first thing I was like, I don't want to be doing the same job. I want to be doing, at, even if I was still in IT, I want to be doing something slightly different. There were few options, but I think cybersecurity stuck up a bit because few people were talking about it. There are a lot of prospects. Jobs are more available than any other like, than any other like field comparatively. And it has certain benefits like good salary. A lot of the cybersecurity jobs would offer remote work and things like that. So I was like, well, maybe that that would be a good like fit for me. It's definitely something worth trying. So I did a bit of reading and picked probably the easiest certification that I can get. Just at least to get my feet in the water, just to see how it feels. And, you know, I studied. It felt like there was progress, which I, which, which is a feeling that I, that I was like really craving. After getting the first certification and fixing up my CV and getting ready for like to apply for other jobs, I was of course looking what was, what kind of qualifications most jobs were, were looking for. And there was a, and there was a few certifications in particular that required a bit of work more than the one that I've did. So I was like, okay, I'll try to get one more. And then after that, I will start applying for jobs. But 
because I just did this certification, I should give myself a little bit of a, a month or two break just to not to not to burn myself out. Well, I think you can pretty much <laughs> guess where this goes. The one month break like starts taking like I think it became a little bit longer. I kept procrastinating a bit and I think I started losing interest, not so much losing interest, but also like started to feel more curious about other things. Somehow graphic design came into the picture. I'm not sure what triggered that initially, but I remember like thinking when there was like, why don't I like become like, why don't I, don't I try to do like graphic design? And that just didn't come completely out of the blue. Uh, I've done some graphic design work. I've done some, like, to, to a small degree, like, I've designed some flyers uh, for parties. I've designed some album covers, some logos, things like that. Um, I even did a little bit of web design and web development. And all of these things I really enjoyed. I was like, first of all, it's it definitely has the creativity that I'm, like, that I'm looking for in my job. And it also has the self-reliance, I guess, or maybe the feeling that you can completely depend on yourself and just work as a freelancer uh, in a way that is more accessible than being a system administrator. The thing is, even though I was like starting to think about it, it was just something that I never like, I never felt like it was something that I could actually do. Um, I, I don't know what it was, maybe like it's just, I never thought of myself someone who's, who can be like a designer. Maybe because I felt like, oh, it's not something I did in university. And also like I, at the time, which is not, which is like what, a few months ago, I felt like I'm nine years in my current career. People like with me are getting promoted and moving up in that, in, in that direction. Starting up from scratch, just like in a, something completely different just felt really risky for me and I was like oh but maybe it's just better if I do something that is closer to my job as a system administrator and that and that was like big part of the appeal of cybersecurity. the other thing is is like graphic I knew that graphic design is not the most like lucrative field especially compared to someone coming from IT in fact it's it's pretty, it's, I think it's way more competitive than IT. It's harder, it requires more hours. Most people that I know who have IT jobs, at least that's around me, um, they're not all, at least not all of them, especially the, when the company is really big. It's usually like a little bit more on the laid back side compared to these um, maybe creative fields. But after, few conversations with my wife um, of like whether it makes sense or not also my wife has worked as a graphic designer in few agencies so she was she was giving me a lot of like realistic pictures of what it's gonna be like it's not gonna be like oh you're being creative and it's fun and it's amazing it's a lot of like hard work and a lot of doing things that you don't really want to do things like that but she did also say that it's something that I might be better at than my current job. So we've had many conversations and eventually I've decided, you know what, I think I'm just gonna start working on it. Once I've actually made the decision to give graphic design a shot, it was so weird. It felt like that decision made so much sense to me. Like, I guess it felt right and I really hope that that feeling stays with me in this journey because I, I don't remember feeling that about many of the careers like that I've decided to, to try, at least not in my memory. After that decision, I've also like decided like, you know, I started looking up different educational resources and how to like develop a portfolio, where to start, things like that. It was overwhelming. There are so many ways you could learn graphic design. Everybody does it in their own way. They're, I was, <laughs> it's definitely a little bit harder than I expected it to be, but like few of the courses stuck up. 
One of them was the Shillington like boot camp. It it stuck up to me because first of all, it was like the most expensive course. I think it's only cheaper compared to a graphic design bachelor degree. So it's definitely something I stumbled. I remember stumbling upon Shillington like a few years back, actually, and not being like I'm being curious about it, but it was so out of my reach because they required full attendance. But this time, like seeing the course, I was like, hmm, I saw this before. Let me read a little bit about it. And I started reading about what they cover and going through that with my wife. And she was telling me, oh, they really do a good job of covering everything. I did a little bit of an investigation of who of the people who actually graduated because I wanted to see, like, did they really benefit from this course? Where where are they now? Things like that. So I did a little bit of Instagram stalking. Uh, I also talked to a few of them and like chatted a bit with them to see like what their experience was. And from these chats and from what I've read online on Reddit and things like that, everybody was speaking very highly of the experience. Uh, I've asked people, I've told people about my situation and where I am in my career and if this would make sense. And a few of them said, yeah, that would be really helpful. And that was not enough for, for me. So, I've de- so I had a conversation with a representative from Shillington and we talked about it and I told them like, oh, this is where I am and this is where I want to be. I'm currently like working, I've been working nine years as a system administrator, but I want to completely change my field and start working in, in something different like graphic design. And the the funny thing is they told me like that's th- that is like more or less their audience that what they f- what it felt to me like they were specializing in because a lot of the people who came to Shillington and who graduated from the from Shillington are usually people who already have jobs just given how expensive it is i don't think it's a course that you can afford without actually having like a substantial income. So most of the people who sign up for it are people who like who already have like who are working in a field and want to pivot to something in the creative industry. And so and they have a lot of success stories which was really inspiring. And then again, I went back <laughs> to my wife and we had like a few nights um, where we talked about it. Also at this point they were like they're offering like an online version and yeah after that we were like fuck it let's just uh let's just do it (laughs) let's see let's see uh, let's see how it goes because it's definitely something that i didn't want to try and tiptoe around graphic design and take too long to get into it i just wanted to like completely deep dive and see how far i can get so once i've like applied and signed up for it it was definitely an, an emotional feeling because it felt like I was starting a new chapter in my life. And I, th- I think signing up for something like that has a very ritualistic feeling. Um, it reminded me of going back to university. It reminded me of starting something new, which, I, which, which is a feeling that I didn't get from any of the graphic design on other online courses that were mainly like video based and tutorial based, not to say that you should pay that much money for that feeling or anything like that. But just to me, this was felt like the right option. And I start classes next Tuesday. I've already, we've already begun like a little bit of like uh, pre-work where they're helping us set up and get everything ready to start the course. The whole course is gonna be, I'm doing the online part-time, which is, which goes over nine months, I think, starting starting mid September, which is yeah Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. I'm gonna be covering that journey. Hopefully, this benefits someone. Or if you're interested in Chillington and whatnot, I noticed there weren't many videos online about this. Like maybe there was one or two of people who actually did the course. So hopefully, this is something that 
you would learn something from. Otherwise, this has been my journey, <laughs> my journey so far. My cat is starting to want attention. But yeah, if, if you guys, uh, if any of you have been through something similar, have changed fields or have been, have decided to get into graphic design like recently, would love to hear your stories. Would love to hear if you have any tips or any advice that might be helpful. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.